Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, I want to discuss one of the forms of alcohol which is most valuable to preppers, but which probably is one of the least discussed despite this fact. Now, I went to the liquor store today to pick up a little bit of bourbon whiskey. Today, I went ahead with the Bullet bourbon, pretty good stuff. And while I was there, I went ahead and picked up a little bit of grain alcohol. 151. I think that's about as high as you're allowed to have here in Idaho. Might be allowed to have a little bit higher. I think maybe 80%, but this is 75.5% alcohol by volume. Now compare that with this bullet bourbon, which is 45% alcohol by volume. And aside from that, this Everclear is very pure as most alcohols come. It's going to have no scent aside from alcohol. And if you were to boil it off, it would leave pretty much nothing. Now, that's pretty valuable for medical purposes or if you're trying to make another form of alcohol without the flavor of something else in it. But it's the medical purposes and a few other infusing or extracting purposes that preppers might really find this to be valuable. Now, you might have a hard time finding specific purposes for using something like a very pure grain alcohol in most emergency situations or collapses. But if you are going to be storing alcohol, this is one of the most cost-effective ways to be doing it. This 75.5% alcohol by volume uh, bottle costs about $19. And compared to this, which was $16 for a smaller volume, uh, you can stretch this much further. I mean, you can just pour this into water and create alcohol with that same concentration and stretch it much, much further. But aside from just drinking purposes, the sterilization value of this without the bitterant that exists in the extremely far cheaper isopropyl alcohol does make this a pretty valuable option for things where you would like to have that. Now, isopropyl alcohol will serve most purposes, but if you are making infusions, tinctures, or things like that, then you're not going to want that bitterant in it. It's specifically made so that you're not able to ingest that alcohol. So this is definitely what you're going to want for making tinctures, poultices, things like that. Um, so definitely something that's worth having around, and if you are going to be storing alcohol for drinking or medicinal purposes, then you might as well have the most highly concentrated form that you can, despite the fact that some other types of liquor just taste so darn good. Anyways, hope that's been interesting. Hope you're all doing well out there. Love to hear from me in the comments. Everybody stay safe.